Hey, today I want to talk to you about one of the most powerful things you have, especially in these times, like Kipling said, where all about you are losing their heads and everyone begins to doubt, doubt, doubt. It's the power of something called your smile. And before you think this is all woo-woo and make me want to go hug a tree, let me share this with you. I learned this from a legendary football coach, ex-Marine who worked with Vince Lombardi, and a little monk from Asia who taught me something very special in a book. Because what happens is when you're really uptight, whether working out or in a difficult situation, you start to cringe. You worry, you wrinkle. Not only does it make you look older, which everyone's trying to fight, but it communicates at a level to people. And you can't hide it, even if you're on the phone. Because people can feel as well as see a smile. And let me tell you where I learned that from. Back in my high school football days, I played for a legendary coach, and we didn't lose our last two years. In fact, the class after me never lost. 33-plus games they won in a row and were number one in the state for excellence. And the smallest school, I believe, in New Jersey history ever to do that. So why am I telling you this is past history? Eight of the 11 people I played with on offense went on to college scholarships. And I even had a chance to get one, but I decided to lose weight rather than play football because we were all trained by this guy and he taught me the power of a smile. Here's what was happening. We would do three sessions a day, very hot, humid, New Jersey heat, full pads from six in the morning to like nine at night. And we'd be running sprints at the end of the day and I was just cringing and running because it hurt. It was hard, which is part as a Marine, he was trying to teach us how to get through this and how to be there at the end. He used to call it fourth quarter. And what he looked at me once I was looking there and putting all that stress in my face and he just grabbed me and he says, I'm going to tell you one thing and you got to listen to me. And believe me, this guy got in your face. He's a football coach. You listened. He said, smile, start smiling. And I thought he was crazy, but I went across the field smiling and I started doing that every time I worked out, every time I did something hard. And it was really powerful to learn at that physical level that what I was doing is putting all the stress on my face and I wasn't able to get there. And not only did he teach this to me, I can remember our quarterback, Steve O'Donnell, to this day. Every time things were on the line, when everything was happening, he had a smile on his face. It's something you see in really great pro quarterbacks. He had a smile because he knew that not only gave us confidence, but that he really felt it. Why come from a place of stress? It's already tough enough. Let me share, I, same thing I learned from a football coach, I learned from a monk in a book who lives in Asia, Teach Not Han, who says, often while joy may be the source of your smile, your smile is really the source of your joy. And when you really practice this, the power of a smile is really feeling it inside and out. And it's gonna take practice. I'm still trying. I'm not trying to act like Mr. Zen here. I just learned that no matter what comes up and all the challenges that we are all facing, as much as we may bluff and put it out, I'm not talking about that, really work on genuinely smiling. See what life has to share with you. And remember to treat it and approach it with a smile, as tough as it might be. Everything can get really hard, just like working out in a 90 degree heat in full pads was physically exhausting. Just like going through this economy and trying to figure out how your business and personal life can grow. The source that you always have is your smile. It's powerful, others pick up on it, and most important, no matter what happens, it's just life. It will pass, and you should enjoy the ride. And I can tell you something that I'm still working on. If you practice this, you'll not only learn the power of the smile, you'll be the power of the smile. My name's Declan, I'm done with this pivot and profit, the power of a smile. Keep smiling, things, always will get better if you give them a chance.